So yeah. w what concept or theorem in linear algebra or in math you find most beautiful? Like gives you most pause beautiful. that leaves you in awe? Well, I'll stick with linear algebra here. Uh, I hope the viewer knows that really mathematics is an amazing, amazing subject and deep, deep uh, connections between ideas that didn't look connected. Some, they turned out they were. But if we stick with linear algebra, so we have a matrix. That, that's like the basic thing, a rectangle of numbers. And it might be a rectangle of data. You're probably going to ask me later about data science, yeah. where and often data comes in a matrix. You have, you know, the, uh, maybe every column corresponds to a, to a drug and every row corresponds to a patient. And, and uh, if the patient it, it reacted favorably to the drug, then you put up some positive number in there. Anyway, rectangle of, of numbers, a matrix is basic. So the big problem is to understand all those numbers. You got a big, big set of numbers. And what are the patterns? What's going on? And uh, so one of the ways to break down that matrix into simple pieces is uses something called singular values. Mm -hmm. And that's come on as fundamental in the last, in, certainly in my lifetime. Uh, eigenvalues, if you have viewers who've done engineering math or, or, uh, or basic linear algebra, eigenvalues were in there. Uh, but those are restricted to square matrices and data comes in rectangular matrices. So you gotta take that, you gotta take that next step. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm always pushing math faculty, get on, do it, do, do it, do it, uh, singular values. So those are a way to break to to make to find the the important pieces of the matrix, which add up to the whole matrix. So so you're breaking a matrix into simple pieces, and uh, the first piece is the most important part of the data. The second piece is the second most important part, and uh, then often so a data scientist will like if if. A data scientist can find those first and second pieces. Stop there. The rest of of the data is probably round off. You know, er um, experimental error maybe. So you're looking for the important part. Yeah. So what do you find beautiful about singular values? Well, what, what yeah, I didn't give the theorem. So here's the here's the idea of singular values. Every matrix, every matrix. Uh, rectangular, square, whatever, can be written as a product of three very simple special matrices. So that's the theorem. Every matrix can be written as a rotation times a stretch, which is a, just a matrix, a diagonal matrix, otherwise all zeros except on the one diagonal. And then a third, uh, the third factor is another rotation. So rotation, stretch, rotation is the breakup of a of a, of any matrix the structure of that the, the ability that you can do that what, what what do you find appealing what do you find beautiful about it well geometrically as i freely admit the, the ma action of a matrix is not so easy to visualize but everybody can visualize a rotation take 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 two dimensional space and just turn it around the around the center Take three-dimensional space, so a pilot has to know about, well, what are the three, the yaw is one of them, I've forgotten all the three turns that a pilot makes. Uh, up to 10 dimensions, you've got 10 ways to turn, but uh, you can visualize a rotation. Take the space and turn it, and you can visualize a stretch. So to break a, 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 a matrix with all those numbers in it, into something you can visualize, rotate, stretch, rotate. It's pretty neat, Yeah, pretty neat. That's pretty powerful.